Hey, what's going on, guys? This is James Burson with another video for POC, POC, Point of Conversation. And today's POC, POC, Point of Conversation is coming to you from the scripture, 2 Timothy 2, 15 and 16. Now, that one ties into the other two videos that I made before. So if you guys haven't checked out, check those out. First one is from John 8, 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Second one is from Galatians 4, 16, which says, Am I now therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Check those out. Tie those two in together. So those are the first two videos for this truth series. This is part three of four. And so what the scripture in uh, 2 Timothy 2, 15 through 16 says is, Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, reason why this one is third and the reason why this one is important is because this is a reminder. The first two videos have to un understand that you have just learned the truth. So you've got the knowledge, but you become you have the power now. And now the truth has made you free. Now you've become powerful. Boom. Once you get to that, that stage and you're putting the truth out there, now you got to realize, am I now therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? The answer is yes. You've made enemies. People have revealed who they are to you. So now you have those enemies out there. So now you have to be aware of that. Now, the third step to that is not to fall back into old patterns and not to go backwards, but to remember what the purpose of this is. And that's where, where Galatians 4.16 um, 4, about understanding those enemies and now transitioning into 2 Timothy 2, 15 through 16. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Think about that. You need to remind yourself why you are doing it. Rightly dividing that word of truth is that's what's going to keep you focused and that's what's going to keep you on track, knowing that you have enemies out there. You are doing this for the glory of God. You're doing this for that purpose, you're doing is to show yourself approved unto God, not for other people. You rightly dividing the word of truth. You cannot control how people are going to respond to the truth that you are putting out there. Keep rightly dividing that word. Keep studying. Keep putting your time in because this is about your relationship with the creator. This is not about how people respond to the truth that you put out there. This is about you and your relationship. So that's what that's where the focus is. Second part, verse 16 says, but shun profane and vain babblings because they do increase unto more ungodliness. That means that those enemies that you have put out, that those enemies that you have made because of what you put out there, they're going to come. They're going to speak up against you. That's going to happen. You have no control over that. What you do have control over is how you respond to that. That's why it says shun profane and vain babblings because they will increase unto more ungodliness. In other words, shoot that down right away. Stand tall on what you what you believe in. You've already put put it out there. You've already been talking about the truth. You've already made your enemies. You know that. Now stand on that. When they come up against you, be bold. Be of good courage. Have the heart to stand up. And put and put those babblings in, in that, that profane talk. Put all of that away. Keep it away from yourself. And don't let other people bring, bring that towards you. And stay focused on rightly dividing the word of truth. Because that's where, your, that's where your relationship is going to be tested. What you're doing is going to be tested. That's what this is talking about. Being tested now at this point. Stay focused. Stay on task. Not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So think about that. Those three videos put all together. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. John 8, 32. Galatians 4, 16. 
Am I now therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And now you have 2 Timothy 2, 15 through 16. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun vain and profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. Those enemies that you made, they're coming for you. Inevitable. You do not have control over how people respond to what you say. But you do have control over how you respond to how people treat you and what they say. Put that stuff away. Keep your head on the swivel. Stay focused and be steadfast. Make sure your foundation is solid because it's coming to get tested. It's going to get tested. That's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is James Burson with another video for POC, POC, Point of Conversation. Until next time, shalom everybody.